Bitcoin futures may be booming, but our next guest says that uh, it is a scam. In an oh. op-ed for Recode this week, former PayPal CEO Bill Harris called the cryptocurrency, quote, the greatest scam in history, noting that it is a pump and dump scheme unlike anything the world has ever seen. How does he really feel? Bill Harris joins us now from San Francisco to stand by these claims. Bill, great to have you with us. Hey, how are you? Is, um, you know, where does the value come from? Well, if, it, if it's not a, 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 an effective means of payment, if it's not a great store of value, and I don't think it is either one of those things, because at, in at very least the volatility, well, then what makes it valuable? Uh, people say scarcity. You know, there's no more than 21 million Bitcoin that will ever be uh, minted. Fine. You know, I can, I, my autograph is scarce. I can <laughs> promise that I will never autograph a piece of paper more than 21 million times, but it doesn't make it valuable. I could care less about Bitcoin. I don't know why I, <laughs> I, don't know why I said anything about it. The blockchain is a technology, which is a good technology. We actually use it. It will be used for a lot of different things. God bless the blockchain. Cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, you know, I think, are also fine. You know, J.P. Moore moves $6 trillion around the world every day. We don't do it in cash. It's done digitally. Yeah. If it can be done digitally with the blockchain, so be it. But it'll still be a dollar cryptocurrency. What I have an issue with is a non-fiat cryptocurrency. Dollar, so crypto, uh, sterling, euro, yen, they're all fine. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. You all can do whatever you want, and I don't care. Okay? <laughs> I was a scammer. I was the first to admit. I understand the seedy underbelly. Jordan Belfort, a.k.a. the Wolf of Wall Street. If you've seen the film, you know he served nearly two years in prison for securities fraud and money laundering. But he now says he's a changed man, and he's sounding the alarm. I always say most of my firm was legitimate, but there was a portion of my firm that wasn't. Okay, and that portion was based on the manipulation of stocks. And I had it down to a science, and it's exactly what's happening with Bitcoin. At one point this weekend, you said that Bitcoin, and this was based, you were asked, Charlie said Bitcoin's like rat poison. You were asked about that comment, and you said, well, it's probably more like uh, rat poison squared. Uh, Charlie went on in the meeting to then basically call Bitcoin turds. Um, he, he is an expressive sort, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when he gets a little older, he'll, he'll mature. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ask you about that because it sparked so much controversy, and uh, particularly on Twitter and some of the places where you might expect people who are trading in, in cryptocurrency uh, to be pretty um, loud yeah. about what they heard. What, what is it about Bitcoin that gets you guys so fired up? Well, when you buy a farm, uh, you look at the crop every year and and what prices are, and you decide whether it was a satisfactory investment. I mean, you, you look to the asset itself and what it produces for you. When we buy a business, we look at what the business earns and decide how we feel about it in terms of what we paid. But we are buying something that at the end of the period, we not only have what we bought in the first place, but we have something that the asset produced. And when you buy non-productive assets, uh, all you're counting on is whether the next person is going to pay you more because they're even more excited about another next person coming along. But the asset itself is creating nothing. Uh, one of the interesting... Bitcoin is worthless artificial gold, which if it succeeded would facilitate a lot of illicit activity. Now that is not something I think the world needs. And the fact that it's clever computer science doesn't mean that it should be widely used and that respectable people should encourage other people to speculate on it. Bit if you were to write the book Crisis Bitcoin today, not Crisis Economics, Crisis Bitcoin, how would you open the book? Well, I, I said it's the mother of all bubbles and it's also the biggest bubble in human history. If you compare it to, say, the Mississippi bubble or the tech bubble or tulip mania or South Sea bubble. You can Bitcoin to tulips. Uh, much worse. If you look at the peak in the Bitcoin was an order magnitude higher than Tulip Mania, and now it has crashed by about 60% compared to the peak of mid-December. It's crashed 30% the last week and 10% today, and it's all the way down to zero. The fundamental value of Bitcoin is... Bitcoin is hated. Blockchain is hated by a lot of the establishment. What is your view of this new technology? Are you looking at it as an investment opportunity? Is it on your radar? 
Well, Bitcoin and blockchain are two different things. I'm wildly bullish on blockchain. It's going to change everything we know, everything we know. It put a lot of people out of business. But electricity put a lot of people out of business. We're not going to close down electricity because it changed, changed the world. But cryptos are going to disappear. They're going to go to zero. So you think mostly all, cri all cryptos? Or? Many already have. Well, there may be government cryptos. Um, you know, the government is going to wind up in charge. The cryptocurrency guys say all the time, we're smarter than the government, and they are. Everyone out there is smarter than the government, no question about that. But the government has the guns. And Christopher, when the guns come around and say you're not going to use that, in the 1930s, people could use anything they wanted as money. Gold, coins, paper money, sugar, seashells, anything you want. And the Bank of England, which is the most important financial or most important economy in the world, said from now on, using anything except Bank of England banknotes is an act of treason. Well, treason means they execute you. So you That's pretty it. serious. That's that is serious. something to consider. So people stopped using seashells, sugar cubes, and anything except Bank of England authorized money. That will happen again if the cryptos get much traction. Okay. I don't expect them to get much traction, but if they... Oh, hi, little girl. What brings you to see Uncle Krusty? <laughs> Krusty, are you broke? Yeah, all it takes is some bad luck at the ponies, worse luck in the Bitcoin market, heavy investment in a high-end bookmark company.